Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Martina, from Intro to Jazz, taught by the amazing Stacey Russell. Today I'm going to be talking about swing bands. And if you're anything like me, you probably don't really know what swing bags are about. Swing bands originated in the late 20s during the time of the economic crash and Great Depression. And it also ended around the time of World War II beginning. Swing bands were mostly big band musics, meaning that there was multiple performers for one type of instrument to amplify sound and also helped with tuning and improvisation. Big bands usually contain sections of trumpets, saxophones, trombones, and rhythm. Big bands usually had a smooth, understandable sound and contained written music rather than mainly improv like New Orleans jazz. Big bands were considered to be teenager music because it was loud and boisterous and demanded a huge physical response like dancing. Since many people in the 1920s dealt with a lot of hardship and depression because it was the Great Depression, swing bands helped bring these people up and get them in a happier mood and let them forget all about all of their problems. Many of these problems were homelessness and starvation because people couldn't even afford to pay for their rent, nor could they afford to pay for food. Since many of the people didn't or weren't able to afford these things, many record companies went out of business or went bankrupt or were bought by another company because people could not afford the $2 fee of buying records. The sales at record companies dropped over $96 million in four years. As the economy was recovering from the Great Depression in the late 30s, record companies started to get more money in sales because of jukeboxes. Jukeboxes were an easy way for other people to connect because they were in restaurants and bars and they were an easy way for people to play music that they liked and other people liked and they helped others with their problems. When jukeboxes became more popular, so did swing music and musicians. Since swing musicians started to make more money, it became an avenue for many skilled musicians to have a job and to gain money and many of those musicians were African American. Since swing music had a huge fan population of African Americans, many swing musicians and swing and big bands went to black ballrooms and black um, clubs to perform. However, many of the African Americans who had so much hard work in their writing and performing, many of their m money went into white people's pockets. It was super unfair for African Americans because they had so much hard work into and put into their music, but white people didn't care about it. They just cared about the money, they just cared about what it sounded like, they didn't care about where it came from or the roots of it. Harlem was a very important place for swing music. It was where it pretty much originated from. Even though New Orleans was important for jazz, and even though swing is an important era of jazz music, Harlem was the key spot for swing because it had a lot of people in a lot of bad places in their lives because of the depression. Since Harlem was a primary area for hardship in the 1920s and 30s, a lot of good musicians came out of that. For example, Benny Goodman and Artie Shaw had huge influence in swing in the 1920s and 30s and they found a lot of inspiration for their music in Harlem and in, during the Great Depression where everything pretty much was in a really bad place. Artists like Benny Goodman and Artie Shaw helped uplift the people who were going through a tough time, which was pretty much everybody in the 1920s and 30s. Swing bands helped people get through their problems by dancing, which was a really good way to make people get happy because it dancing and exercise brings out good happy hormones and stuff like that. Swing was popular until the late 30s when the stock market finally was stable and the economy was stable and people were getting their jobs back, but then later World War II happened. 
during World War II, many of the swing band musicians and instrumentalists had to be drafted into the war to fight for our country. Since many of the swing musicians were drafted into the war, swing lost its importance and popularity and people couldn't just fly overseas to stations and perform because planes were less common and if they were around it was mainly used for military and it was a huge risk to the artists. As swing music became less popular, other forms of jazz took their place and therefore made swing disappear in the music industry. As a whole, swing has, is so important to jazz today and in the past, in the history. And I feel that swing still could come back even though we're in a stable economy and are one of the wealthiest countries in the world, not everybody comes from the same place and or financially they don't. And I feel like most of those people who grew up in poor families can relate and feel happiness with swing music rather than go getting into violence with drugs or getting into gangs and it just would make life a little easier if other modern forms of jazz came back.